you're given a 10 by 2 array of floats where each row represents a movie. The first column represents the movie's rating, and the second column represents the director's rating. Your goal is to create a third column to represent the overall rating. The overall rating is equal to the movie rating if it exists, otherwise it's the director's rating. Okay, I came up with two solutions to this problem, so let's go ahead and take a look at the first solution. Let's break it down. So here we use the where function, and we basically say where the first column of the ratings array is nan, go ahead and use the value given in the second column. Otherwise, use the value given by the first column. And we assign that to a variable called x. So if I just print x here, you can see this gives us the values that we want to insert into the third column. So then the challenge is how do we put these values into the ratings array? And for that, we can use the insert function. So we say mp.insert, and we pass in the array we want to insert into the values that we want to insert. So in this case, x, the array we just created, the axis, so we want to insert it as a column, so axis equals one, and then the location, so obj equals two means we want to insert these values at index two of axis one, in other words, the third column of the array. And then we assign that to a variable called result, so note that the insert function doesn't actually modify the ratings array. If I print ratings, you can see it hasn't changed. Uh, so we return this copy with the uh, new column inserted into a variable called result. Here's the second solution that I came up with. So it starts out just like the first solution where we define x as the new values that we want to insert into the last column. And then we use the hstack function to horizontally stack the ratings array with x. Now the trick here is the ratings array is a two-dimensional array, so we need x to become a two-dimensional array to make it compatible for stacking, and we can do that with x square brackets colon comma none, where we give it a new last axis. Uh, if you want to see what that looks like, it basically looks like this, and that's what makes it compatible for stacking with this ratings array. And then the result is what you'd expect.